The current contest uh, in the Night News Challenge is focused on open government. And the reason we picked that uh, general theme is that we saw a lot of opportunity in trying to improve the way that citizens and governments interact. So we were really excited about the possibility of using new technology and new approaches uh, to help people interact with their governments better, to help governments release more data, to use public data in more relevant and more transparent, more useful ways for people, uh, things like that. We, we saw sort of a lot of opportunity in that field, and so we were really excited to see if we could accelerate that with uh, the $5 million contest that the Night News Challenge uh, supports. We choose the themes in response to uh, things we see going on in the, in the media and information and journalism field. So last year, for example, we did uh, more general rounds on networks, data, and mobile. And those were in response to sort of broad themes we saw happening in the space. There were a lot of people interested in data visualization and public data sets and all these kinds of things. Uh, mobile's become obviously really important for the way people consume information and news. So we picked some more general themes last year, but we wanted to start with something a little more specific this year. One, because we're using a new platform that's designed to sort of encourage conversation and interaction and discussion. And two, because we just kept hearing from people, especially through the data round, that there was a lot more energy around open government and uh, potential for us to potentially be helpful in that space uh, with, with projects like that. So our definition of open government is very broad. And one of the things we want to make sure is that uh, people don't perceive it only about open data necessarily, or that doesn't require you to sort of show up with a data set already in mind necessarily in order to apply for the contest. Uh, we're interested, the, the question we're asking on the platform is how might we improve the way citizens and governments interact? And so that can include open data, that can include uh, data visualization, it can include journalism projects, it can include mobile apps, but it doesn't have to include technology even or data. It's just about what are innovative tools or approaches we can use to improve that interaction. Uh, so people who are interested in working more with government data uh, can find uh, resources online. A lot of governments are already opening data. Um, it's inconsistent how accessible it is or how easy it is to work with. But there's actually a surprising amount of data out there available. Organizations like Sunlight Foundation and Code for America have done a lot of work with other public data sets. Uh, but one of the things we're interested in doing with this contest is trying to open more data and also trying to create better frameworks so that the information that governments have, that other public institutions have, is more accessible and easier to work with. Uh, it's sort of not as simple, I think we learned in the, in the first generation of open government projects over the last decade or so, learned that it's not as simple as just putting out an Excel spreadsheet with a whole lot of numbers in it. There's more uh, complexity, more thinking involved in releasing public information in a useful way. And so we're, we're interested in trying to help accelerate that through the contest.